Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillahir Rabbil Alamin Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Continue on in our discussion about what Sheikh Muhammad said about the four things that is an obligation upon every Muslim to know the first thing being knowledge as we, as we mentioned that he said so Sheikh Muhammad mentioned that first it's knowledge and, and the knowledge is knowledge of who Allah is and knowledge of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and knowledge of the religion in general and its rulings according to the textual evidence from the Quran and the Sunnah and the Faham of the Salaf of this Ummah. And then he said al amal bi that you have to practice that knowledge and we already discussed that. And then he said the third thing athalith al-da'wah to ilayh the third thing is calling to that knowledge. So while implementing that knowledge and having that knowledge and practicing that knowledge, implementing in your life, you begin to call and invite people to that knowledge. And Allah, all throughout the Quran, mentions the one who calls to him you know, that gives da'wah, that propagates the religion as being of those who have the, the, the best speech in this dunya, you know, the, the, the best and they're calling to the greatest thing because they're calling to the Tawheed, to the worship of Allah alone. If they're implementing that knowledge. And Allah also mentions the way that we should have Wisdom and insight, basira, hikmah, mo'it, the wa 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 basira. You know, having insight and hikmah and calling that we should have an idea of the people we're inviting. We should know about what we're inviting to, the knowledge, meaning that you have knowledge of the Sharia, and you should know about the environment in which you're calling the people. And this is incredibly important because we have some of our brothers and sisters in Islam who love to give da'wah. And this is a great and noble character or characteristic. But if it's not on ilm wa fiqh, if it's not on knowledge and understanding of the religion, then as the Salaf used to say, huwa yaslah, huwa yufsid akthar min, min ma yuslah, or kama qeed. That it has been said, and Ibn al Qayyum has a statement like this as well, that the one who calls and they don't have knowledge, they're not properly grounded in knowledge and don't have fiqh in the deen, understanding in the religion, that they cause more harm than they cause good, than they, uh, than good. They destroy more than they plant. May Allah protect us from that and put barakah in that which we do for His sake. And knowledge, ayyuh al-ahabba, as we all are aware of that knowledge is something incredibly important in Islam. So in order to give da'wah, you have to have the condition of knowledge. You have to know what you're calling to. You can't call the Tawheed and you don't really know what Tawheed is. You can't call to stay away from shirk and you have no idea what shirk is. You can't call to the prayer and you, you don't pray properly yourself. 
And we know the hadith of the Prophet وسلم, where he said, where he said, you know, give da'wah, propagate about me, e even if it's just one verse. What's problematic is how some people understand this hadith of the Prophet وسلم, they misinterpret it to mean that everyone should give da'wah. Everyone should go forth in the path of Allah and call to Islam. But that's not the, the correct understanding. Yes, you should, to the extent of your ability, if you don't know much, but you know at least something about Tawheed, invite non-Muslims to the extent of your ability. Or remind your brothers and sisters with that which you know. But that does not mean you should go out and go forth and try to make uh, concerted efforts to give da'wah to Allah without knowledge. Because knowledge, which is that prerequisite for da'wah, is something so azim in the Sharia. It is the path to Jannah. And it is a sign that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the person who makes, uh, who has knowledge, who he has given knowledge. Again, that's a ni'mah from Allah, that's barakah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if he has given you something of Islamic knowledge. That's a ni'mah from Allah. But we have to practice it. And then preach it and propagate it. And the evidence for those two claims I just made, first is the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where he said, مَنْ يُرِدُ اللَّهُ بِهِ خَيْرًا يُفِقَهُ فِي الدِّينِ Allah uh, the Prophet وسلم, said, whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives them understanding of the religion. And the ulama say that we understand from this hadith that also the one who is not given knowledge Allah doesn't want good, that's a sign Allah doesn't want good for him. So the one who remains ignorant day after day, year after year, then this is a sign Allah doesn't want good for them. May Allah protect us from that characteristic. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. And the other evidence is the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where he said, Man salaka tariqan the Prophet وسلم, said, Whoever traverses the path of knowledge, then Allah will make easy for him the path of Jannah. And the Salaf of this Ummah used to say, Talib al Ilm is Talib al Jannah. Seeking the knowledge, Islamic knowledge, is seeking Jinnah. Again, those other things that we've already talked about have to come into play. Because it isn't just memorizing and gathering up hadith and gathering up ayats and memorizing them, but it's practicing that. That's what's so hard on us. May Allah forgive us and help us. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. It's practicing that. And then it's going and giving da'wah. Because we can give da'wah without practice. And then we're destroying ourselves. We'll be like those people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, speaks about them all, all throughout the Quran. Ya yuladina amanu, lima tukululu, lima tukululu ma la taf'alun. Qabra maqtan inda Allahi an tukululu ma la taf'alun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O oh, you who believe, why is it that you say that which you do not do? That is something serious to your Lord. You know, that's major. That you say that which you do not do. I owe the billah min that and may Allah forgive us. And then there's so many ahadith that illustrate that same concept that we have to practice what we preach. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says also in the Quran, Ata'muruna nasa bil bir watansona watansona and fusikum wa entum tatluna al kitab afala ta'kilum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, do you command the people with piety, but you forget yourselves? Are you of those, are you a person of intellect? Are you, are you of those who think? Don't you think? 
Wallah mustaan. A'udhu billah min dhalik. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to practice what we preach. Forgive us of our shortcomings. Bless us with ikhlas, with thabat. Wa ilm al nafi ruskin tayyib wa amal al-muttaqabbilin. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.